That's where my cottage was. The militants burned it down. On the way to his home, Mikola gave UATV a tour of the outskirts of the frontline settlement of Krasnohorivka. He spoke about most things in the past tense, saying, here stood a cottage, and here was a school. Now located on the front line, Mikola's apartment building is almost empty and riddled with holes from enemy fire. My daughter had just returned from Dnipro, and during the first night of her stay we were shelled. This playground got hit with grad. This entrance was smashed by an artillery shell. Their tanks fired from that side, and then came the artillery fire. Mikola and his neighbors had to live in the courtyard for some time. It was too dangerous in the building. They still keep the outdoor kitchen ready, just in case. Because they can shell us anytime. Anytime we can get separated. The kitchen in their apartment doesn't differ from the one outside. They cook on a camp stove because the centralized gas supply was cut long ago. Mikola's wife Svetlana showed us their makeshift stove. It says, glory to the nation. The guys from the 28th Brigade gave it to us when they left. We were afraid to sleep undressed because we often had to get up at night and run somewhere. But it got better with time. In spite of four years of war, the family has not moved away. They know which side their house gets shelled from and don't have any illusions about Russia. Svetlana was barely able to contain her emotions when asked about the topic. <laughs> They say that Putin is the savior. What kind of savior is he? Hiding his soldiers behind children and women. Phew, that's some real hero right there. Mikola proudly shows off the Ukrainian flag he keeps with messages from the defenders of Ukraine. The family says that they hope someday the flag they have at home will be flown in the center of Donetsk.